Hello everyone, welcome to my, I guess this is my fourth YouTube video. Today my colleague Ali Reza is helping me to film this one. And uh, today we have a, a PC uh, which won't start. Actually it will power on but uh, there is no start beep sound and there is no display and anything else. Uh, it's an Asus P8P67LE as you can see here uh, and uh, it's a second generation CPU, Intel CPU platform and uh, let's see how it acts to our body. As you can see the fan is running, the power is on but there is no start beep and no other activities so for your information I ran some tests to look into the problem I have replaced the graphic card I have replaced the RAM module I have reseated the CPU also and I have checked that the CPU is warming up when we started so everything looks okay here uh, and also there is another thing if I detach the RAM module you can you can hear the RAM beep the RAM error beep so in my guess the problem should be from the BIOS. Uh, I have also cleared the BIOS settings uh, with this jumper here. I've also removed the battery to reset the BIOS settings, but none of them help. So I'm gonna remove uh, the BIOS chip and reprogram it. So, and you will see what happens next. Fortunately, these BIOS chips are easily removable and you can just detach it from the motherboard. So this is the BIOS IC. It's from the Windhound company. If you can see, okay. Uh, I'm gonna put it on my TNM5000 programmer. It's a universal programmer. I will put it right in the place. Okay, now I will connect my programmer to my laptop. So, okay, first things first. I should download the original um, BIOS program from the manufacturer's website, which is Asus in this case. Now I will <coughs> search. Asus P8P67LE BIOS download yeah. There is a difference uh, when you want to download and program a BIOS chip in laptop and desktop Desktop BIOSes um, are just the same <coughs> these biases that you can download from the websites uh, you can just write uh, put it in the programmer and uh, write it on the chip but uh, in laptops it's it doesn't work like this you should download the bias program from specific websites and the manufacturers won't uh, give away the original program for the bias so i will open it and I will unzip this ROM file here. I will run my programmer's software. So first I should detect the BIOS chip which is correctly being bound 25Q32. Okay. Before I start to program the chip I will um, read the chip to make a backup file of this 
current chip in case anything goes wrong. Okay, I will save it on my desktop. Asus P8 P67 LE BIOS back up. Okay. Now I will load the downloaded file and I will just go with auto mode. It will uh, erase the BIOS chip and <coughs> it will then write it, program it and it will verify it in the next step. So. Uh, it was the latest version of the ROM, uh, BIOS ROM, which I downloaded. <coughs> and this was my adapter for SOP or usually laptop BIOS chips. Okay, it's the fuses pop-up message and done. Pay attention that uh, we have a sign here on every chip that uh, points you to the right direction of installing the chip. I will go for this direction. Also, there is another mark here that guides you to the correct installation direction. Carefully put it back in place. Just take your time and do it carefully. So it's okay now. I will power it on again. You are waiting for the start beep. No. I will try to start it once again. Maybe the RAM module I have it was out of its place. Another try. Yes, and that's it. And now a dead motherboard came back to life. I hope it helped you on your next repairing journeys. Thank you for watching.